Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode 128. Hey guys, welcome back. So today is episode 128. I'm doing this in Vlogmas, <laughs> um, or while doing Vlogmas. I'm gonna keep my regular videos coming out uh, alongside Vlogmas. So today you would have gotten a Vlogmas video plus this video, and tomorrow you'll get a Vlogmas video plus watch your break on Wednesday, <laughs> and you know, etc. Just keep going by. But anyways, yeah, I just want to tell you that. <laughs> so I have a, quite a few finished objects. I, at first I didn't think I had many, but then um, as I was writing them down, I was like, oh yeah, I have quite a few. <laughs> so um, yeah, they're mostly hats like last week. And uh, I got some Christmas ornaments and then I have some work on my whips to share with you guys. And I have a couple of acquisitions that I bought yesterday, I think. Uh, I am gonna do a Happy Mail video separate later this week, uh, maybe this weekend. So if you sent me any cards or anything, they if I have gotten them, they'll be in that video. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop into my finished objects and uh, go from there. <laughs> um, every year I make Christmas ornaments for my family. That's us here, my mom, my brother, and my sister. Um, I just make, I just started that, I think when we lived, the year before we moved here, so um, five years ago <laughs> I can't remember exactly uh, this thing right here is one of them the snow globe I made mittens one year I already forgot what I all made uh, stockings I made stockings one year this is the fourth or fifth year I, I feel like this is the fifth year anyways <laughs> mine's already hanging on the tree for this year but this year I made these little peppermint candies I think they're cute. <laughs> These are the ones for my mom, my brother, my sister. Uh, I haven't given them to them yet. I usually give them to them when we go to their uh, to my sister's house for Christmas, which is usually Christmas Eve. But um, I don't know when I'll give them to them this year. But uh, they're just cute little peppermints. They're made with Red Heart uh, Super Saver White and Cherry Red. And you carry the yarn. You work from both yarns at the same time. It's a little confusing if you've not done that before, but um, I've done that plenty of times making graphs and stuff, so it was pretty easy for me to whip these out super quickly. It's only two rounds, and it's a free pattern. <laughs> it is just called Peppermint Christmas Ornaments, and I will link it below uh, in the description box. Everything I talk about today will be linked in the description box. But I think these are really cute. They worked up super fast. I made all four of them while watching an episode of The Crown. <laughs> um, and then I just, when I tied off the yarn, I just made a... Uh, a knot, I forgot what that's called, <laughs> there's a name for that, uh, a loop knot, whatever, I can't remember what it's called, <laughs> to hang it by, um, yeah, so that's my ornaments for this year, for my family, <laughs> my next finished object is, they're all in this bag, let's see here, does this, dig them all out, because a lot of, some of them are the exact same pattern, okay, I think these are all the things that I need. Oh, Jesse's hat. He has his hat, I think. Maybe it's in this bucket. Let me look. Oh, goodness. This is our... This has got all my hats in it. <laughs> that I make over the years. Okay, here it is. He took his blue hat with him. He's at his grandma's. And uh, I made him a new hat, but it's actually a little small for his head. It fits, but it will not fit him next year. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to have to end up donating it and making him some new hats but uh all right so first i will show you a pattern that i tested for someone and it's called the uh hunting hat and it's by jennifer from jedi dragoon and i tested her night helmet pattern recently and then this is her next pattern so here it is so it's a beanie with like a neck piece it's kind of funny that she made this because in the video where i mentioned um when I showed her not how helmet, I mentioned how that would be a good hunting hat <laughs> or a man hat, you know, and then she ended up uh, designing it. It's basically the body for the, um, the night helmet, just without the details, the extra details. And, uh, I'm not sure what this yarn is that I used. It's a red heart scrap that was gifted to me a long time ago. And, um, I don't know what the colorway is called, but it's like a, kind of like a dingy blue, <laughs> kind of looks denim y or something. But, uh, yeah, so there's that hat. <laughs> I'll link that pattern below. Uh, it's available to purchase on Ravelry. I don't know if it's on her Etsy shop, but I know for sure it's on her, um, 
Ravelry. I'll link that below. But there's that. I'll also link her YouTube channel down below if you want to check it out. That's the first hat. <laughs> and now there's four more hats that I made and an ear warmer. Now these four hats that I made are just, um, one of them is double crochet, but three of them are half double crochets. They're the same hat that I made myself the other day, last week, this hat. So basically what I do is I chained, I think, 40 um, chain, and then I did half double crochet and made a panel long enough to wrap around my head. <laughs> and uh, then I seamed it together, and then I cinched up the top to uh, make the beanie, and then it, you know, you can roll up the, uh, the bottom to be a broom. Um, I got a bunch of yarn for me to make a bunch of these hats with, and then I ended up making Jesse one. I made me another one. I made one that's going to be donated. And then I made one for a crochet along. And now I'm just going to show them. So this is the one I made Jessie. And I made it in Baby Bee Sweet Delight Chunky. The color is Toy Elephant. Got this at Hobby Lobby. And uh, it is a number five. I believe. Yeah, number five. So here his hat is. It's got Christmas tree flocking all over it from my tree. <laughs> it's everywhere. But, um... Yeah, it fits on his head, and he likes it, and it's warm, but it definitely won't fit him next year because it just barely fits on his head. But again, it's the same concept. I just, I chained less. I think I chained, um, like 36 or somewhere around there just to make his a little bit shorter because he's got a little head. And, um, but same exact concept, just half double crochet back and forth in the back loops only to give it the uh, rippled effect. And then I, I uh, ha or single crocheted it together. Let's see here, where did I do that at? I don't know where that's at. <laughs> but somewhere around there, I single crocheted it together to make like a tube. And then I uh, cinched up the top. I planned on putting a pom-pom on this. But since it's not really going to fit him much, I'll probably just not. And <laughs> just donate it like this uh, when the time comes. But he can still wear it for a little while. And then it won't fit him. But this is really nice yarn. I like it. It's super soft and uh, nice my hat box <laughs> okay so that's Jesse's. this one i made with yarn that was gifted to me recently um and it's another yarn i just realized they're all yarn b yarns a yarn b yarn this is the yarn b authentic hand dyed chunky it's some of that new yarn that hobby lobby has that is in hanks i think it's a five also yes it's also a size five Ta -da. wait what's the color <laughs> i forgot <laughs> floral frenzy is a really pretty yarn. I like it all. It's super wash merino. So I could probably wear it if I wanted to. I just don't. Uh, I don't want to. I got enough hats. And I'm making me a bunch of solid color hats to go with different outfits. So um, I'm just. I just made this to make. To use the yarn up. And then I'm going to put it in my donate uh, pile. And when that pile gets full. I will then donate it. But uh, yeah. So it's just the same thing. It's half double crochets in the back loop only. And then I did, uh, I had some yarn left and I didn't want to waste it. So I just attached it to the bottom and I did, I think two, yeah, two rows of single crochet just to make like a little brim. This fits more like a regular beanie. It's not slouchy um, like the other ones because this was a smaller hank. This only had um, 110 yards in it. And it is a bulky, right? Right, yeah. But it is really pretty. So that's going to go in my donate pile. So I'll put that over there. And then this is another hat that I made. This is made with the exact same yarn as this mustard one that I made. But it's a different color. And I think this is its ball band. I'm trying to get better at keeping the ball bands. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one's called Pumpkin Spice. But it's Yarn B Soft and Sleek Chunky. I really love the Soft and Sleek yarn. I've loved the, I've used the, um, the Worsted weight and now the Chunky. And I really love it. So, and I love this color. <laughs> But this is this is the exact same hat as the yellow one, just without a pom-pom. I am planning on buying some faux fur pom-poms for the hats that I'm keeping. Um, I want to get one for this one and for the yellow one. And I have, like, three more hats that I'm going to make myself. I know it seems excessive, but I like matching my hats with my outfits. Um, so I'm going to, I need to get pom-poms and uh, put on these. There's some more flocking. <laughs> I think snow is everywhere. Yeah, so there's my orange hat. Put that in my hat bucket. And then with the leftover yarn from that, I made another headband, which I do still plan on making a tutorial for this. I just haven't had the time to film it. <laughs> I'll get around to it eventually. But it's just a simple twisted uh, headband. Really easy, quick pattern. You can whip these up in like 30 minutes, if that. <laughs> um, especially with this chunky yarn. And uh, yeah, I like this. I like keeping these too for when it's not super cold. I can still keep my ears um, 
warm and snuggly. So that's, again, that's no pattern. It's just out of my head, you know. All right, last hat that I made this week. This I made for um, the crochet along that Judy at Witch Peace was uh, hosting called Movember. And it was to raise awareness for men's health and basically just make anything in the purple spectrum. So I had this mauve yarn. It's a big old ball. Um, someone gifted it to me and it doesn't have a ball band on it. But I don't know if it was uh, like a Karen one pound or if it was some kind of red heart, but it was a ginormous ball. I made this hat and I still have a ton left. I held it double to make this like a bulky weight. Um, and it's the same exact hat pattern. I just made it bigger so it's like a man size um, beanie. This thing at broom keeps going up. I had to wash it. It was super stiff when I was making it. Like it would stand up all by itself. So I did wash it and uh, dry it so that it would be floppy. <laughs> but this is going to go into my donate pile. But uh, same exact. Uh, this one was made with double crochets instead of half double crochets. Because I wanted it to be like a bigger man size beanie. But uh, yeah, it's going to go in my donate uh, pile. <laughs> so that's all my finished objects. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I have one more. But it was for it's for my um, my ornament swap that I hosted on my Facebook group. It's for my partner. It's the Christmas ornament. So I'm going to try to remember to take a picture of it. Because uh, I have to mail it out. I'll probably mail it this weekend. Um, and I don't want to show it because she watches me. And I don't want to her to see her ornament. <laughs> but um, now for my whips. Let's see here. Did I get all that right? Yes. Okay. My whips is I have two blankets. One's a scrap blanket. One is the six day kids blanket. And then I have a cardigan whip right now. I have a ball of yarn pulled out on my couch behind you <laughs> that I'm wanting to make something with. I, I was going to look around on the internet to try to find something to use it for. Just because it's real pretty and I want to use it. And it's been sitting on my shelf staring at me for a while. So I want to um, use it up. But I haven't started anything with it yet. Anyways. Okay. So for Vlogmas uh, on this channel, I have been opening my advent calendars that was gifted to me. One was a scrap ball advent calendar. And one was just a gift advent calendar. The gift one is from Rebecca. The scrap ball one is from Jennifer. And um, so I had my blanket already started. I started it earlier this year. And it's just a straight granny stitch um, with a J-hook. And I'm using worsted weight yarns. When I decided that I wanted to use a, uh, my scrap project to be my Vlogmas thing. And Jennifer contacted me let me know that she was going to make up a advent calendar of scrap balls to send to me to put into my blanket. I stopped working on it so that I could save it for Vlogmas. So I did pick it back up yesterday and start working on it. Um, added the first um, advent color and then today I added the second advent color. So I've added two new colors. Um, from the last time you guys seen it, it was in the green section. No, not the purpley section here. This purple color. So I did add this blue and this red as my advents the last two days. There's the stitch marker. <laughs> That's um, for the advent people. Uh, I'm showing on those videos, but it's getting pretty big. I'd say it's about a third of the way done. Now I know that these, I keep pointing over here because it's sitting here. The uh, scrap balls aren't going to be enough to finish it off, but I'm just going to keep adding them to it and also my own scrap balls. I still have a bunch of scrap balls, just they're larger, so I have to kind of break them up. Um, to add to it and uh, hopefully I'll get this done. My goal is to have this done in January sometime. I know it won't be done in December because um, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff in December but my goal is to have this done in January so I can start something else that's big. I like having big uh, simple projects going so that if I'm ever not wanting to work on anything uh, complicated I can just pull out something like this and work on it while watching TV and stuff. But uh, it's slowly coming along and um, if you watch my vlogmas all this month, you'll get to see it grow row for row. <laughs> um, every day I will be putting one of the scrap balls into it. So that's fun. Okay, I'm going to remember this hook. Next is my six day kid blanket, which is a free pattern and it'll be linked below. Um, I've been working on this for a little while. And again, it's just kind of a side project that I work on in between more complicated projects. And I'm making it with Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. Sea coral and I forgot this one. Anthracite is a rock name. I always say that wrong. I always think I say it wrong. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm also using a, um, a eye hook for this one. Move my scrap ball. I got this much left of the first gray um, 
ball, but it was the jumbo balls. I had the first balls that I put in here was the jumbo sea coral and the jumbo erythrocyte. <laughs> what was it again? I don't forgot. <laughs> I think it sounds like a it sounds like a blood cell name. <laughs> but um, anyways, I think erythrocyte is a blood cell. Isn't that the red blood cell? <laughs> but it's spelled with an e. Anyways, um, I'm I'm getting crazy. I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> here it is. Let's see. Where's the stitch marker? Okay. I only put like three rows on it since you guys lost in it because I've been lazy. Here's my blanket so far. Up here is the stitch marker. Uh, I had just started gray last time I showed it to you guys, so I just added a couple of rows of gray. I need to finish off this gray section. And I need to weave in my ends. I'm trying to stay on top of my ends. I like to weave them in every few rows so that it's not crazy. But I think it's turned out so pretty. It's pretty big too, um, lengthwise. Again, I think this is maybe like a third of the way done. <laughs> So, uh, I should have exactly enough yarn to finish this blanket because I, um, I had two more balls set aside for this blanket and then I was gifted two more, uh, one of each color. So that yeah, gives me two gray and two pink left and I already got one gray and one pink in here. So I think with this being about a third of the way done, those two, the four technically, um, we'll finish it off. I'm not going to put a border on it because I don't think it needs a border. It'll be pretty just the way it is. And this will probably be a gift because uh, I don't need it. I'm just making it because I wanted to. And I think the colors are really pretty. But yeah, so it'll probably be uh, gifted to someone I know or I might donate it. I don't know. Uh, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. <laughs> but I am really enjoying this pattern. It's super easy. I got the, the rows memorized. And um, it's just an easy project to work on when I'm watching TV or YouTube videos or something. And I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. All right, my last whip that I currently have is my <laughs> Everyday Cardigan by Sewerella. It's a free pattern. Uh, I have barely worked on it again. <laughs> I've been mostly sewing and doing house things. Uh, is why I haven't been crocheting a lot. And apparently I made a bunch of hats. <laughs> and um, I just been busy doing stuff like that. That I haven't really been working on these bigger projects. But uh, this is a sweater that or a cardigan that I'm making for myself. And I'm making it in... I love this yarn. I think it's called Sun Gold. And it's just like a mustardy color. And this is all I got. <laughs> this is where it was last time you guys seen it. And then I added like three rows. <laughs> that's a stitch marker I made. It looks like little Christmas lights. But uh, that's it. <laughs> this is the back panel of the cardigan. And it's about halfway down right now. I'm at, uh, it's a little over half. I'm at, I think, 38 rows. And I need to do 62, I believe. So, um, it's getting there. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a while but um again this is just another project to kind of mindlessly work on when i'm doing stuff because this is just um half double crochets back and forth back and forth back and forth so uh it's mindless and uh, it's coming along slowly i'm using a k hook for this and this is the first uh ball of the i love this yarn sun gold and i have i think six of them and it should be enough to make the size that i want to make um I hope so. <laughs> if not, I might have to add a different color as like an accent color. But so far, so good. <laughs> so that's my whips. And then my finished objects. Next year, I, I've been trying to get better at keeping these to show you guys. But next year, I think I'm going to um, get some kind of container, like a clear container. And I want to keep all my ball bands that I use all year long in it. Just so at the end of next year, I can see, um, you know, how much yard I used of full balls. Uh, you know, obviously I won't be able to do it with my, my scrap balls because I already got rid of those labels long ago. But uh, I think it'd be fun to just keep them on, just see them accumulate over the year. And um, just, you know, have them to show. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that'd be fun. But uh, I'm not going to start that until January. So those ones don't count. <laughs> those ones will be thrown away. But I do have some acquisitions that I bought, um, I believe, yesterday. Yesterday or Sunday. Me and Devin went to Walmart to pick up a few grocery items and I got some yarn while I was there. <laughs> Cause I was wanting to make us some hats. Every year we go to a drive through Christmas light show here local to us. And uh, there's also, you can park and like get out and walk around the um, the lots. It's actually where me and Devin got engaged. <laughs> but um, we've been going there ever, ever since the year we started dating, we've been going together. But we both always went there separately with our own families. So it's kind of cool, you know, that we've always went there. We just never knew that we were always there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we usually wear, you know, it's usually kind of cold, so we wear hats, and it's almost always crochet hats because I always make them. But this year I wanted to make us each kind of Santa-ish hats. I don't know if they're going to be, like, the typical Santa hat that's pointy 
but uh, they might be beanies. And I thought about making um, Jesse one of those ones that's like a square hat with two pom poms on it. I know those are usually uh, feminine looking, but um, I don't care. I think it'd be cute on him. <laughs> so um, I don't know. But anyways, I was at Walmart and I wanted to make it with chunky yarn because I've been loving chunky yarn lately. So I got um, five, I think five would be enough to make two adult hats and one kid hat. If not, I'll just have to go back and grab some more. But they had a whole bunch of it, so I'm not worried about it. Um, it is, what is it called? It's Lion Brand Hometown and the color is Tampa Spice. Really pretty red color. It's like a cherry red got five of those <laughs> to make us hats with see I thought I would make Devin a beanie with just the white um, brim and then I would make me like a stereotypic Santa hat and or a pixie hat maybe and then make Jesse the cute one with the two pom-poms <laughs> that was what I was thinking so I'm hoping this is enough yarn because Jesse's won't take a ton of it Devin's will take more than mine and mine will be like in the middle so I'm thinking this will be I got two balls each for mine and Devin's hat and one ball for Jesse's but again, like I said, my Walmart has a ton of these, so um, they had like 20 of this color. <laughs> so if I need it, I can just run back and get another ball or two. And then for the white part, I wanted some um, the faux fur yarn, but my Walmart does not carry it. And I keep looking and they still don't carry it. The Walmart next to us in another city over, they do carry it, but uh, we don't go there as often as I would like. <laughs> so, but they did have this yarn at my Walmart and it's mainstays of velvet yarn. I'm assuming it's called white arctic white <laughs> it's like velvety yarn but it's really white and soft and plushy and i thought that they're both super shiny so i thought they went good together and uh this velvet yarn does give the appearance of like fur kind of so i think this will be good and i think this will be enough just to do um, a few rows of brim on each of our hats and then either make pom-poms with it I've never made pom-poms with velvet yarn, so I don't know if this uh, falls apart. <laughs> I thought I would try. And worst case scenario, I might just have to buy some white pom-poms or just make it with some regular yarn. Because I have a lot of white regular yarn. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so these are going to be our Santa-ish hats. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. I need to work on those now because Devin has to work this weekend, but he'll be off next weekend. What is next weekend? Uh, let's see here. He has to work the 5th and 6th, so he'll be off the 12th and the 13th, and then of course he'll be off the weekend of Christmas. <laughs> so uh, we'll probably go the 12th or the 13th, because we'll go with um, my in-laws and them. We'll be in separate cars, but we'll go together, you know, all through the gate at the same time. <laughs> but, um, and uh, we have to wait for everyone to be off work, and you know, everybody's working. All, you know, his sister's grown up now. She's a teenager, but she's working. So uh, we have to try to find the perfect time where everybody's off work long enough for us to go do that. But um, yeah, and also I found on Facebook, my county and the county next to us both shared a, um, a list, I forget what it was called, but it was a list of houses that all submitted to it that are super decorated. Like they really decorate their houses out and then they submit it to the city hall or whatever. And then they make a list. Um, uh, with like a map and everything and the addresses to everyone's house that's super decorated so I thought it'd be fun for me Devin and Jesse one night to do that we could make you know hot chocolate and go with our Christmas hats on and just have fun looking at Christmas lights and also my county shared along with theirs a scavenger hunt list for the Christmas displays to look for like you know blow up Santas or reindeer or snowmen you know etc um, and I thought that'd be super fun to do with Jesse. I don't know if he'd be too into it, but I would be super into it. Me and Devin would, we, we would do it. But, um, I thought it'd be fun. So I need to get on the, the ball with these. I might actually start these when I get done with this. After I get this video up, edited and up, I might, uh, sit down and start working on these hats. I found the hat that I want to make for me. I just don't know if I have enough yarn for it. I don't know. We'll just have to see. <laughs> but anyways, that was my acquisitions. I did get some Happy Mail, but again, I'm going to do that in a separate video. And I have a big old box of yarn right here. But uh, I'm actually waiting to share that with you guys until probably January because it's going to be giveaway. But I don't want to do it during December because I already have some stuff lined up for December. So this is planning ahead. <laughs> and um, what is that everything else? Yeah, there will be a shop update. Um, let's see here. What is today? Today's the first. The shop update should be December 7th, which is Pearl Harbor Day. But um, I'm working on the bags right now. They're going to be quilted tote bags, the large ones, with the little snappy button thingies. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, would, I would be working on them right now, but I ran out of uh, white thread, and i got to go get some later when Devin gets home. But um, 
the, the back should all be done by Monday. So uh, Monday, December 7th, there'll be a shop update. I will release Sunday a video and a Facebook post uh, about the specific time of the shop update and uh, so that you guys can see exactly when the shop update is going to be. I think that's everything I want to share. I need to get off here and edit this video and um, get to working on some other things. I got other, you know, other behind the scenes vlogmas type things that I want to work on for you guys this month on both channels. I'm trying to do on both channels, but it's a little hard to do uh, content for both channels. But I'm trying. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.